Hello everybody, it's me Lynn. Welcome to my good little garden. I'm in my bedroom today, not my garden, because today I want to talk a little bit about my money tree. That's right, a money tree. I like houseplants too, not just the garden. So I do have quite a few of those and I'll introduce you to those in later videos, one at a time. So we can learn a little bit about them here in these colder months when I won't have anything going on in the garden. So this is my money tree. It's about two and a half years old. He is a good three feet or more tall. He was 11 inches when I got him, 12 inches. His name is Cha-Ching. I call him Ching. His scientific name is Pachira aquatica. I'll insert that here in case I said it wrong. It's a tropical wetland tree, and it's in the Mallow family. And the Malavacay family, to be exact. It's also native to Central and South America. And this plant here, it grows in swamps. Also a little fun fact about the tree. It is a Gianna chestnut tree, I believe. And there's not only one variety, I believe there's over 450 varieties of the money tree. And you never know which one you're going to get when you go and you purchase one at a place like Lowe's or any garden center. What they usually do is they braid the, uh, they take five, about five money trees and they'll braid the trunks together. Now, mine was braided together. Let me show you. Mine was braided together, but I left it go. I took the, um, I took the restraint off of it that it had on it because I didn't like it. The trunk was growing too short up the top. So I un look, unhooked mine and let them free because it just makes me feel better. I know, a little silly. And I know people love the braid. That's part of their charm, they say, because they use it as bonsai that way. But I'd rather mine be natural. And who knows, even someday I may split them, depending on how big this gets. Well, the dino kale, because they remind me of the palm tree. And I like to eat it too. They are from uh, Western Asian, Mexico, Thailand, I believe in that region, well, they'll grow the best. Fortunately, I'm not there, so mine will stay in the house and probably get to be six, seven, eight feet. Now, out in the world where they really go, in their native environment, I believe they'll grow up to 60 feet. And yes, you will get chestnuts. Now, if I can find a picture that I am legally able to put in here. That's not copyrighted. I will insert it here. The only soil I have him in right now is a peat mixture. And I did put some mixture of my potting soil and um, compost. Just about a half an inch layer I stuck on top of the peat to, to maybe an inch. And the rest is just, I believe it's not peat, I believe it's cocoa core under there. I believe that's what I purchased. I misspoke there. I do water them once or twice a week. It's getting down to once a week now that we're in the cooler weather. He's my favorite, my favorite, one of my favorites. I can't really say my favorite, <laughs> I love them all so much. Um, I do name all my house plants. You'll see they all have a name when I introduce them to you one by one. So as long as you keep them in indirect bright light, that'll be good for them, not too much light. They don't really like the cold. I know I have him by the window, but he's also sitting by the radiator, so he's not getting too cold there. So he does pretty well where he is. 
this is where he's been for I'd say the last six months I did change rooms and he was also in a window where I was there too by a radiator <laughs> so he did well there I feed him as I was saying what I feed him with is fish emulsion straight up fish emulsion I know it gets a little stinky for in the house but that day and night I have my windows wide open and just I deal with it because it's what's best for him and he loves it he absolutely loves it if he's you're getting slightly yellow leaves which I don't think I have any more right, here's a set let me show you there's a set of slightly yellow leaves I don't know it's picking up but you can see the tips are browning it's because he got a little dry on me and I didn't notice because I watered them and thought it was going to be two weeks because it is the cooler season. But apparently, he thought otherwise. He said, yo mom, you need to water me. And those leaves got slightly yellow, so I threw some water in them. So you got to watch for yellow leaves. If you're not watering them enough, he will let you know. And pretty darn quickly, he'll let you know. Here's a fun little fact about the money tree. Well, legend, I should say. As I told you, they're braided with five different money trees to braid them for the bonsai. It says it's being good luck. But the legend says, if one of those money tree dies, that somehow that plant just disappears because maybe it'll bring you bad luck. Now, I don't know if that's true or not, and I don't know how suspicious, uh, uh, superstitious I am about this plant but superstitious was never my thing but I still have all five money trees in my one but I did unbraid them but the braiding is for aesthetics and for the bonsai effect but I'd rather my trees be comfortable I don't know why I'm a creature of comfort now here's a question can you overwater your money tree yes most certainly you can overwater your money tree and immediately your leaves will start falling off and your soil will feel soggy. Here's your proof about overwatering. I have a friend. This is her money tree. Not doing well. Dying. I emptied the her potting soil out she had in it. I put it in cocoa core like I have. It's <sighs> very slightly damp the trees were getting a little mushy I do not know if he's savable but I'm not gonna give up not till after spring and summer comes I'm gonna see what he's gonna say now this here one here I'm not too certain about but I'm hoping that she'll have four and I know my friend Rose is very suspicious and she will not want this back if this one dies. Ah, then it will probably just destroy it and move on because she's way more superstitious than I am. Matter of fact, I just don't think she's very good with the money trees because that's money tree number two for her. <laughs> so my friends, there's a couple little tidbits about the money tree plant. Maybe you would like to get a money tree plant. I love mine. I absolutely love it. It's beautiful. One last look for you. There you go. Quick side view. He is absolutely stunning. So if you have any more questions or comments on the money tree, maybe you know something I don't know. Let me know down below. I'd really appreciate it. I do know one more thing. I know how to propagate a money tree, but I do not want to propagate him. But I will show you. See here, there's a node here and a node here. You would cut down here above about, I would say a half an inch to an inch above the third node. And you could stick this in glass of water 
and propagate it that way or you can propagate it by putting it in soil I've never really done either but I'm gonna try this way because I'm not so certain how that would work he got knocked off that little piece there last week and I stuck him in there so he's been in there for about three to five days not so certain but if you wanted to cut it you could cut it and maybe someday I will because I have this piece right here that's extra oh where is he oh, I can't find it right this minute but I think it's over here this little piece right here I just may take that off and put it in some water and gift the money tree to my sister or a friend Deidre. Maybe one of each. Hey guys, so that's all I know about the money tree, AKA Pachira Aquatica, Gianna Chestnut Tree, Liana. <laughs> I don't know, I know I am butchering all of those except money tree. <laughs> so thanks everybody. Thanks for coming around. Don't forget, if you have a question, leave one below. If you have a comment, then maybe you can teach me something, leave that below too. I'd love to hear it. And if you don't mind, how about giving me a like or subscribe if I taught you anything today or I gave you any information you may have got use from. I'd appreciate that. Bye-bye, guys. Have a good one.